list that I really enjoyed was the buying aspect because you can get so much stuff on Craigslist. There's so many people they complain about Craigslist. It's like, ah, you can't do well. Uh, there's this going on and there's that going on. And I absolutely love Craigslist. Is it a rose with a few thorns? Yes. Is it a rose with a few wrinkles? Sure. But overall, I'll take it up 100% of the time. Well, part of buying is you'll call up someone and you'll go to their house and you'll see what they have. And like, you know, you always got to take the extra step. You know, if you go there and you see one thing, you can't ignore the money that may just be staring you in the face because you're so focused on that one other thing. Well, I called up this lady and she had some CDs and books for sale. I was like, okay, well, because uh, essentially it was a moving sale. And I saw everything that she had. And I went there, but I didn't go make on the phone like, hey, I'm interested in everything, blah, blah, blah. No, I was like, let me go ahead and see what you have. It was one of those days that I wasn't going to the auction. Sometimes you need to take a few days off because it's a lot. And we were really, really stacked on so much, so many things. And some of the auctions that were coming up, they didn't have a lot of rooms. And I was like, hey, you know, change up the pace. So I go to this lady's house. Answers the door. Woo, boy, boy, boy. She was a stunner. Home alone, middle of the day. And I'm just sitting there like, wow. Who does she look like? Think kind of fair of Fawcett-ish, but thicker, in about 5'2". Answers the door, little halter tank top, no bra on, and shorts, no shoes, no socks, nothing, just bare feet. I'm just like her right, hair in the ponytail. And there's stuff literally just spread out all over the house. Because clearly, you know, she's moving and she's like, hey, how you doing? Da, 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 da. And I was like, hey, how you doing? I'm just sitting there like, and me, I'm a caveman. So if you're going to show your breasts, I'm going to like look straight at them. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to wink, look away because I'm like, they're right there. And you had to know what you look like when you put that get up on. Anyway, but I was there for business. But I did look. So, you know, she's like, well, I have all this stuff. And I noticed that there was books still in bookshelves. There were CDs. And it, it, it was just, she was in process of gathering everything up. And I was like, well, let me look at well, let me look through the stuff and uh, I'll let you know what I'm interested in. In my mind, I knew I was interested in everything, but I couldn't say it off the cuff. You know, I kind of had to gauge her, see where she was. Well, this goes on and you know, she says, oh yeah, there's some more books downstairs. Really? Okay. So I go downstairs and pff, bookshelves and everything. I mean, oh my God, it, it was crazy number of books. I mean, it was just crazy, crazy, crazy. I was like, whoa, this could be the motherland because there's some good stuff in here. There's definitely some good stuff. And while I'm down there looking through stuff, I hear water come on. Then I hear, you know, little pad, pad, walk, walk, you know, and she comes to the door. And I don't see her because she's just kind of like, hey, I'm going to take a shower. You know, take as long as you want. And I was like, this woman just said she's going to take a shower and there's no one else here but no, she did not do that. She did not do that. Me, that, you know, something was just not right. Something wasn't right. So what I did was got on the phone, called up one of my friends. And I was like, look, you know, this is going to sound really, really, really strange, but I need you to stay on the line for X amount of minutes because something weird is happening here. And I, I told him what was going on. He said, whoa, really? He like, you know, him being a typical dude, he's like, hey, you need to go upstairs and tap that. I mean, she's just one. I'm like, dude, I don't think it's that kind of party. Really don't. And I am not going to jail today. So at that point, I had him on the phone. And I'm just going through books, going through books, going through books. And probably 30 minutes passed. I hear the water turn off. And I was like, I'm not going upstairs. I am not going upstairs because, all right, I'm in Dunwoody, right? Middle of the day, big black dude, little tiny cute white woman. There's so many bad things that can happen. So many bad things can happen. So I'm going to play it ultra, ultra conservative because more importantly, I want those books and CDs because she's got thousands of them. So a little time passes and uh, I let my friend go. I was like, I think it's, the coast is clear. Then she comes downstairs in a row. 
still kind of a little glistening from the shower. And uh, just when I didn't think it could get any stranger. She says, well, I have an appointment. And could you like go have lunch or something if you're not finished and come back later? <laughs> like, sure. Okay. And she said, cool. And she gave me like a little wink, wink. All right, cool. And um, I follow her upstairs, get in my car. I go out. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, I don't know what's going on. So I go around the corner, have lunch and everything, pull up my laptop. You know, I had the Verizon had these little uh, wireless cards you stick inside your computer back then. So I'm just like, do, do, do. I'm actually working, you know, because even though I was out and I wasn't at auctions, I'm always working. And actually, an hour and a half had passed by and I picked the phone. It's like, hey, you know, you're good? Oh, yeah. So I go back to the house and uh, I'm just like, you know, go straight downstairs and everything. Downstairs. Then I hear a shower come on again. I'm just like, didn't she just take a shower? <laughs> I know she did, right? Well, I'm like, okay. I was like, hey, it's her house. It's her world. You can do what you want. I'm like there. And uh, 30 minutes call. And this time, I don't feel the need to get on the phone because whatever she's doing, it wasn't for me. But there was clearly something going on. What I don't know to this day. So this time, you know, she comes, you know, shower stops. She comes downstairs. She's dressed this time in her, you know, in her original get up, you know, little tank top and shorts clearly no panties on so me being who i was like you know I'm, I'm not being a real person but are you like a stripper or something she said i used to do that and i said oh i could tell oh she said you know and then she went oh yeah i love showing off my breasts and i'm just like don't flash me again don't flash me again let's get down to business because this could turn into something very bad because clearly she is a gypsy type of a personality very free very easy going but it's been my experience that many of those people can flip in a dime. You know, they're like easy going. You say, do something wrong across them, then all of a sudden you're, you're in hell's way. And really, my goal was to make a deal, get some books and stuff. But clearly, she's a little flirty. She's real nice. And actually, that could help me. So, you know, I talked it up, chatted it up and everything. And I was scared like three freaking hours, right? And then I said, well, essentially, I want everything. I want all the books and everything. She said, oh, well, make me an offer. And I was like, well, you know, honestly, I buy the resale. So you know, my offer is going to be real low. So just brace yourself. And I said, you know, four grand. And she said, excuse me? I said, 4000 And she's like, really? I said, yeah, I want everything, you know. Because, you know, when I said everything, because I told her books and CDs, and I kept talking, and I meant everything. I was like, the books, the CDs, the furniture, everything. And she kind of leaned back on the stairs, cocked her legs, no panties. I'm looking at Coochie, I'm just like, this chick is funny as hell. And she said, that really helps me out a lot, because... And then she's like, let me get this straight. And at this time, you know, she's kind of like reaching back to him. She's like, you talking about everything now? So I was like, yeah, uh, I'll take the furniture. I'll take everything. And she said, can I think about it? Sure, go ahead. All right, so I'm like packing up and stuff. Because essentially, just eyeballing, I was figuring there was like four to six grand in books and CDs. There was going to be some losers. There was going to be some suckers. And clearly there was. But I get, I go out, shake her hand, and I get in my car. I'm not even, I'm in my car five, six minutes. She calls me. She said, that's, that's a deal. When can you start? And I was like, well, okay, you know, I got to set stuff up, call people and everything. And she said, okay, well, what I got, I have some things to do this week. I'll be in and out. The key is under the mat. I'm like, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, right? And I was like, okay, well, and she's like, well, you know, you said 4000 you know, cash, I would prefer cash, I like operating cash, I said, I have a feeling you did, and she just kind of giggled, right, and so the time of day, went back with my guys, and she, this time, actually had on like a business suit, thank God, 
little business suit, you know, the little dress and very, you know, spiffy looking, very spiffy looking, the glasses and everything, very conservative style. And I gave her the money and they started packing up and loading stuff. And, you know, that was kind of it until, uh, you know, a few weeks later and my estimation was way off. I was completely, completely, completely off because the books and CDs alone did 10 k on Amazon. That wasn't touching the furniture and all the other stuff that she had for sale. So it was really a great buy, you know, damn near 20 grand at once the sales. Did this happen overnight? No, took months. Let me say that again. It took months, damn near a whole year. Books and stuff on Amazon, CDs and that, and furniture. The furniture went pretty quick, but the CDs and all that stuff, it took a long time. But you would think that was the end of the story. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, in the mid-process of selling this stuff, I get a call from her, and I know it is. It's like, you know, when you talk to someone so long, you know their number. I never, I didn't lock in her number, but I knew it was her. And I was like, hey, how you doing, Ponytail? She's like, yeah. And she's like, hey, uh, I have a friend who's moving. And, you know, you seem to be pretty straight up and honest. You know, if she knew the money I was making, I don't know what she was thinking. She's like, because, you know, I had other people come before you and they were all trying to get like really nice stuff for fifty dollars, twenty dollars, and you know, you really gave me a good deal. So she was like, I have friends, like I said, they're moving and everything. And essentially I became a resource for her and her friends. And honestly, I think I had stumbled upon a prostitution ring. I do. Did I see it? No. Did I take partake in anything? No. But just the way that they acted, because they were, they were business like, but I gotta say, they were really some of the nicest people I've ever met, and they had money. You know, because I made fair deals, I got great stuff, and I actually helped her and two of her other friends out, because they were like leaving Atlanta, and I was just like, wow, this is really cool. But that's the kind of stuff that happens when you buy on Craigslist. Now, I don't know what was in her head, but like I said, I said in the earlier videos that it is, amazes me how many women of all persuasions will open up the door to a perfect stranger and let them in his house. That happened to me dozens and dozens of times. I was, I was really, each time it happened, I was always like shocked. I know I'm a nice guy, but they don't know that. I don't know if it's charisma, personality, whatever, but it always stunned me when that went down because it was just weird. It was just really, really weird. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Just the tip of the iceberg. There's more to come on these crazy Craigslist stories.